Hey, thanks for tuning in for this special episode of the Review Channel. Today we're talking about TerraPeak Research Tool within eBay. So if you're using eBay at all, and if you want to use how to learn how to use Seller Hub and the research tool called TerraPeak, that's what this tutorial is all about. So stay tuned for that. But before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. It does help me out quite a bit. Let's get into the video and learn how to do some research and how to use TerraPeak. Okay, guys, let's get into the video. So this video is basically about the Seller Hub tool. Um, so under Seller Hub and, and eBay, and if, you know, if you sell on eBay at all, they have all different types of tools. But the most important tool that I always use quite often is to do the research. If you find something and if you have and you want to know what it's worth, they actually have an awesome, awesome tool. Okay. So basically, what you have to do is go under Search and Terapeak Product Research. So basically, you want to go to your Seller Hub all the way to the right and hit Research and then Terapeak. So they, uh, uh, eBay acquired um, Terapeak, I think, a few years back. And they integrated it into their seller hub now. So <clears throat> it's a really good tool. We really utilize it. And I'm just going to give you a couple of examples. So to teach you, give you a little quick tutorial on how to use it and how important it is for you and just basically how to navigate within that program. So once you log into your account, you go to your seller hub. You just go to, again to the right, the research, and then Terapeak product research, and that's it. Um, so let's give a example. And that's what the best way to do. So let's say you're looking for... A new iPhone. Okay. Oh, you want to sell a new iPhone. Okay. So iPhone X. Okay. iPhone X. So this gives you a result. Last seven days, right? So if something's really trending, really hot right now, you can keep it really short. So you can go look. Okay. Let me see what the last seven days is, the last 30 days. And hit research again. And that pretty much loads it again. So now if you look at the page here, if you look at the right, so it gives you average selling price. Okay, this is the average selling price, $361. Average selling price range between $0.34, cents, which is ridiculous, and $2,500, which is ridiculous. So those are the ranges. Average shipping cost, so this really breaks it down for you. So the average shipping cost is $12.16. Okay, 83% of the listings had free shipping. Total items sold, okay, within this search, within 30 days, was 13 1,107 sell through rate was 27.79% and total sellers is 2,154 sellers selling the iPhone X. So now at a glance, you can see, okay, well, there's a lot of competition. There's a lot of sales and there's a lot of, a lot of things happening with this thing. You got a lot of data. So you can put in 64 gig. You can really like, you know, narrow it down. So let's do the 64 gig model, 64 gig. Let's put that in. Okay. And then we heard <clears throat> research again so now it breaks it down a little bit less so it's 900 and 921 listings here in the last 30 days this is the average again average selling price low and high average shipping 84 percent had free shipping okay and i do recommend doing free shipping if you can um, i don't recommend selling phones overseas i think it's a, a problem i've had a few issues over in the past so definitely don't do that um but so this gives you an idea so if you have an iPhone and you want to get an idea of what they're selling for, you can ever see that the price is right here. So it's really, really easy. It's a really quick tool. So, you know, you can get an idea. You don't want to overpay. You don't want to underpay. You want to just get yourself just right. So you want to make sure you sell it. If you want to know the highest price that's sold, all you have to do is click on the average price sold right here. Click on that. And that toggles. It doesn't say it toggles, but you have to know what to do. So you hit that. That's the toggles. That's the highest to the lowest. If you hit it again, it goes lowest to the highest. You can see that. So how the arrow goes up and the arrow goes down. So the arrow means lowest to the highest. And you click it again, you'll see it doesn't say it, but that's how it works. And then down is the lowest. So you can get an idea of what kind of phone you're selling. You can do really good research. And this is really, really helpful if you have something that's really old. And you're trying to do a research. And eBay only holds, like, I think two months worth of data, maybe three months. But this will hold a year. So you can say, well, you know what? I have an, a, an antique clock and I'm looking up something and I can't find it anywhere. Um, and you want to be able to do the research, pop it here, go to therapy, do a year's look back and get a night. This will really give you a really good idea. The only thing bad about it, the couple of drawbacks that you really can't see the images really, because once they're really old, you know, they're really kind of holding, they're held in like a small data file and you really can't pick up, you can't really load the file, you really can't load the image, you really can't load much, but you can get an idea of what it's sold for. So that's the, really the main thing about this tool. That's how it works. I think it's a great, great uh, option uh, if you're doing any research at all, if you're looking up any kind of old products. 
don't forget to use this tool. This tool is awesome. It gives you an idea of what things are selling for, especially if it's old and you can't find it. That's really, really what it's good for. But I just want to give you a quick tutorial on, on basically the Seller Hub and the therapy, uh, the product within eBay that eBay acquired um, and how it works. So you get the 365, you can do 90 days, 30 days. So if something's hot and trending, like really popular, then you can kind of narrow it down. Okay, 30 days, What's what am I looking at? You can look at that. Or if you have something that's really old, let me see if it's sold in the last year. That way you can get some more information and say, okay, well, I found it. It sold for 100 bucks. I paid $2 at a yard sale. There you go. So that's what that's for. So that's the idea behind the tool. I hope this tutorial, I hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions or any comments regarding eBay Seller Hub at all, please leave below. Um, also, they're coming out with, I guess, a new updated Seller Hub that they're working on and it's still in beta, I believe. So more is coming out and more information about that. But all in all, Seller Hub is awesome. It really, really works well. You get some good marketing tools. We can talk about that later. Just subscribe to my channel. I have all different types of videos that I'm going to be doing on eBay and in the tools that they have available so you can learn how to do your own research and do your own pricing because you don't want to undersell something and you don't want to oversell it because if you oversell it, it's not going to sell. And if you sell it too cheap, you're going to get mad because, oh, it's sold overnight. So <clears throat> the idea behind this is have the knowledge and you give yourself uh, the sweet spot. So the kind of sweet spot, you take the high and the low and you kind of really see compare phone to phone. You look at the listings um, and then you really see what's going on. So that's the idea behind the tool. So again, any questions or any comments on this specific tool, if you have any confusion or you can, so you know, I'm not sure how to use it, drop me a quick uh, email, uh, send me a message, whatever. I'll be glad to help you and kind of navigate and just show you exactly what to do again. And if you watch, a watch, watch this tutorial again, if you're not sure how to use it, it's really, really easy and it's really, really powerful. And it can really make a difference of, you know, finding you the right, you know, finding the right product, pricing it correctly, and also selling it at the right price. You know what I mean? That's what we're here for. You know, you're doing a lot of hustling and getting out there and you're working and you're finding things and you want to make sure you price it correctly. Or if you can't find it on eBay, this gives you a look back for a year. So that's really what it's good. Okay. So I hope you like this tutorial. If you do, send me, give me a like. I appreciate that. It really does help me out. Please subscribe below and you have a great day and thanks for tuning in for this episode.